Estrada with Eagle Talk, and here I am with Anthony Picciano, a member of the Montferd baseball team. Hello. So, Anthony, what's it like playing baseball for Montverde? It's great. We get a lot of uh, diversity. From we get we get players from all over the the world. We get uh, we have a couple few from Taiwan, uh, Puerto Rico, Venezuela, really everywhere. So, talk to me a little bit about the diversity you encounter on the baseball team. Yeah. So, because baseball is played all around the world. Um, we have a we have people from everywhere. So we have a catcher from Taiwan. He you know has his own style of playing. Uh, we have a few from you know Puerto Rico and stuff. They all have their their styles, and um, yeah, it's just amazing playing with people from all around. That's great. And how long have you yourself been playing baseball? I've been playing since uh, before I can remember. But uh, my parents helped me too, so I'm gonna say two years old. That's incredible. Most people don't play sports at that age, so that's that's amazing. So um, you play – now you play center field. Did you always play center field, and what drew you to playing that position? No, so in uh, Little League and, you know, younger baseball, I played shortstop and mostly infield. And um, as I got older and grew, uh, my coaches realized I have – uh, my my abilities, I guess, are probably speed and arm strength. So that that's really what you need for the outfield. So they put me there. That's great. And not only are you a great outfielder, but you're also a great hitter too. So I wanted to just ask, uh, what is your walk up song for this year? My walk up song this year is uh, "Let's Go" by Key Glock. That's a great choice. That's a great choice. And um, you are one of three seniors on the team. Um, two returning seniors, and you had 14 seniors graduate uh, last year, and you have plenty of new faces across the board. So um, tell me what it's like being a leader um, on a new team uh, with new people, new faces, and uh, how that's going for you so far. Yeah, so this year we have a very young team, um, very different from last year. Last year we had a ton of seniors, uh, so a lot of leadership. But uh, now that there's only three of us, we all really need to – we're all stepping up and, uh, you know, trying to fill in that leader role. And last thing, what are some goals that you personally have for this season and what are some team goals that you have as well? Well, of course, the, the goal is to win states. But um, we – before states, we have Alabama, and hopefully we can make it to the finals again this year. And what are some personal goals for you this year? Some personal goals. Personal goals would probably be a few home runs, a uh, good amount of stolen bases, and uh, I do want to throw a no hitter this year. So you have one of the most notable Montferrat alumni in Francisco Lindor. Okay, so what is it like um, to have that type of relationship with um, not only a great Montferrat alum but a MLB player as well? Yeah, so uh, Francisco, if you don't know who he is, he's probably one of the best shortstops in Major League Baseball history. Uh, he used to go here, so he's always around. Um, it's really great just learning from him. He does a lot for us in the school, gives us um, many opportunities, and uh, it's just great learning from one of the best baseball players ever. That's awesome. So thank you so much, Anthony, for joining me on Eagle Talk today. Uh, it was great interviewing you. Thank you so much for coming on the show.